Hey guys, welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. I'm gonna do just a really short, quick haul for you. Um, we are getting ready to start packing to go to Disney World and super excited. Um, I could not get out. I haven't been able to get out and thrift as much. I'm not super excited about that. I'm super excited we're going to Disney World. But I did get out to the flea market this morning. It is getting a little chillier here. It's about 45 degrees in the morning. Um, and it warms up to about 60, but surprisingly enough, there have still been a lot of booths out at the flea market, not as many shoppers. So I always think of that as like a shoppers, a shoppers market. <laughs> like maybe I can get better deals because there's not as many people out there buying and people want to get rid of stuff. But anyway, so I have a really small haul for you that I was going to show you. So first off, I got a couple of jewelry bags for $3 a piece. So I'll show you this one. I have not opened them. For three bucks, I kind of figured, and I'll just open and show you, I'm not gonna like go through these, but um, if I can find, for three dollars, if I can find one thing in there that I like, then I'm good. So I did find these little, it's a little twisted. I like these little fish earrings. You guys have heard me say like, I love um, wooden things. And then I did look at this one and I found its mate. It's like a little raffia pink earring and I thought that was really cute. So I know that mate is in there. I'm hoping, oh yep, here's the mate on this one and all the pieces are in there. So two items for $3. If I get nothing else out of this bag that I love, I love both of those. So that was good enough. And then I got another bag for $3 from the same booth. So here's this one. This one might be a little more crafty looking stuff, but I liked these big clip-ons. And y'all, I think I've said, but don't shun clip-on earrings like as a wearer. They can hurt your ears, but some of the heavier ones are way better as clips. So I really liked those. So, you know, six bucks, I'll at least get, to, oh, oh, the watermelon. There was another wooden pair. There's a little watermelon um, one in here, which I think is so cute. And those will be perfect for summer. Every time I wear my little wooden, like 80s earrings and necklaces, I get loads of compliments. So I'm always on the lookout for those. So then I also got these Chuck Taylor high tops with the Chuck Taylor logo. They have, it looks like raw edges. I have to assume they were made that way. I didn't like look these up or anything. Magic Eraser will clean this up really nicely. Um, I just thought these were interesting. They're my size. So I'll probably try them on and see what I think before I decide what I'm gonna do with them. But they were really cool and different. So we'll see, I paid $4 for those. Um, I got this bag here which it is a, and I, again, I have not looked it up. It doesn't have a smoke smell. I thought it might have a smoke smell. I don't smell one. So this is called L-I-E-B-E-S-K-I-N-D, Liebskind. Um, it's got a little bit of wear and tear, but it's really, really soft. It says it's lambskin, so I mean, it is really soft leather. I wish you guys could feel it. Uh, definite wear and tear on the hardware. Uh, I paid $2 for it. So, and it, it opens kind of funky, like there's a big middle pocket and then some side pockets. And I don't mind on leather like this, the wear and tear doesn't bother me. I always think it kind of makes it look cool and a little more bohemian looking. So that, I mean, for $2 for a leather bag, I just couldn't pass that up. So got that. Um, let's see what else do I have down in here? Oh, so I have a few of these pillow covers that I love, these little vintage ones. I am in Oklahoma, obviously. It's thrifty in OKC, Oklahoma City. Um, But I don't have an Oklahoma one. So now I have an Oklahoma one. I'm gonna have to try to find a little pillow to go in that. But I thought that was too cute. I definitely could not pass that up. She charged me $3 for that. It does have some spots on the back, but nobody's gonna see the back. So um, I don't really care about that. I also got a Gryffindor, no, I'm sorry, that's a lie. A Hufflepuff cardigan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Gryffindor, I am not a Hufflepuff, but she um, charged me a buck for this, and I bet you I can find somebody who is a Hufflepuff who will love it. So there is that there. And it's a large, which is nice, because a lot of times when I find stuff that I like, it's small. This almost makes me wish I was a Hufflepuff, because I think that's a really cute cardigan. And would be so cute to wear to Universal Studios. Um, oh, this popped out. So I paid 50 cents for this little bracelet. It is stamped sterling on the back. I do not believe that is turquoise. It is glued in. 
Um, but it was cute. It's tiny. I have really little wrists, so it will fit me. So I was happy with that for 50 whole cents, if you guys can see that. And then I think this is my last thing that I got with these boots. So these are vintage Nine West boots, just a flat boot. I like this little black thing here. They have a little bit of wear and tear, but really, really not that bad. This side's got a little, probably needs a little polish, but they are down, like you can't see down in there, but they are a 90s logo boot. I paid five bucks for these. These are my size. Um, and I don't have a lot of black boots because I don't wear a lot of black boots, but I like a flat black one. I have a heeled one, so now I can have a little flat black one for five bucks. I can't beat it. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> So all in all, I did not spend very much money, which is a thumbs up on that, I guess. Um, and I didn't really buy anything to sell. Most of this stuff is for me, but I wanted to show y'all that you can still go to the flea market when it's cold outside and find some treasures. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I love having people see that you can find cool stuff even when you're not in a big city, which is what I always say. You don't have to be in a New York, Dallas, LA to find cool stuff. Um, so come hang out and see what I found. Hit the bell. That's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.